Satnam, a Kundalini meditation to cultivate mercy and compassion. Now, it's very easy for us to understand when we're going through something that's a life challenge, whatever the struggle may be, it doesn't matter. It's easy for us to understand that our emotions can get the better of us. Can you be just as compassionate for somebody else who may be going through something similar to you? Can you show that person mercy? Can you have compassion for that person? And I don't just mean, oh, I feel sorry for someone. So I mean real heartfelt compassion, empathy for somebody that's struggling with something else outside of yourself. And that's what this meditation does. It takes you outside of you to recognize that the other person, this is gonna sound odd maybe, is you. There's a sutra. A sutra is a truth of our times, and there's five modern sutras for yogic principles. And the sutra that I'm referring to is what's called, recognize that the other person is you. Meaning, their victories are your victories. Their gains are your gains. Their losses your losses. Their despair your despair. It gives us the understanding that we're all interconnected, and that's what that, that recognize the other person is you means. It means that, hey, yes, they're not you, but they're you in the way that they have struggles. You know, maybe there's a, a father that doesn't like that his daughter is dating this particular guy. And maybe you have the same feeling. And you're like, yeah, you know what? I don't like this guy either. Recognize the other person is you. Whatever struggles you have, someone else is also struggling with something similar. And there's some comfort in knowing that the strength of unity can bring us together. So this is what compassion helps us to understand is, is that we, we can take ourselves out of the picture, recognize somebody else struggling, and feel heartfelt compassion and mercy for an, another human being. That's what this meditation helps to do. Very easy, very pleasant to do. So let's tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, the Adi Mantra. Every Kundalini meditation mantra Kriya starts off this way. Close your eyes. Place your thumbs against your chest with the palms pressing each other. Shoulders relaxed, elbows down, chest out, chin in. Taking a nice long deep breath. And then exhale the breath. Taking another long deep breath. Exhale the breath. And then inhale to begin. Om. Exhale the breath. Okay, here's how the meditation goes. We're going to breathe in, hold the breath, breathe out, hold the breath out. So there's four parts to this. Breathing in, holding the air in, exhaling, holding the air out. Breathing in, hold, breathe out, hold out. Okay, four parts to this. Now there's a tempo to it, and we're going to breathe in for a count of four, one, two, three, four, and then hold for four, and then exhale for four, 
and then hold the breath out for four. And then breathe in again for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold out for four. Now we're going to do this not by counting, we're going to do this with a silent mantra. And the mantra is Sa-ta-na-ma, S-A-T-A-N-A, Sa-ta-na-ma. This represents a cycle. This is a beginning, this is a middle, this is an ending, and a recycling of it. This is Sata Nama. Pun shove it for those inquiring minds. So you'll mentally be saying Sata Nama, inhaling, holding, Sata Nama, exhaling, Sata Nama, holding the breath out, Sata Nama, and repeat. This is what you'll be doing. There's also a mudra that goes with this, <clears throat> and it looks a little complicated. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see it. It looks a little bit complicated, but it really isn't. You're going to take your hands and you're going to put them backwards so that your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky are touching. So the backs of those fingers are touching. Your index fingers cross. And then your thumbs, you want to pull the thumbs away. So you don't want them to, to be lazy and touching. You want to pull them away. So again, the mudra is... Fingers touch, so those back three fingers touch. The index fingers cross over and rest on one another. The thumbs are pulled backwards. And then we're going to bring this up to the center of our chest, and we're going to hold it here at the center of our chest. So that's the mudra part of this. <clears throat> your eyes, your eyes are going to be closed. Many of these meditations in Kundalini Yoga have a specific time that you do them for. <clears throat> this one does not. You do this to what feels comfortable. So we'll do it for, I don't know, five, six minutes, something like that. But you can, you can do this as long as you care to, because there's no specified time for this. This is a nice one to do. But again, keep in mind what we're going to do is breathe in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold the breath out for four. As we sit in this position with our fingers crossed, our thumbs pulled away, brought up to our chest level, shoulders down, elbows relaxed. Eyes closed. So, why don't you start by breathing in, sa, ta, na, ma. Hold, sa, ta, na, ma. Exhale, sa, ta, na, ma. Hold the breath out, sa, ta, na, ma. Inhale, sa, ta, Na, ma, hold, sa, ta, na, ma, exhale, sa, ta, na, ma, hold, sa, ta, na, ma, inhale, sa, ta, na, ma, hold, sa, ta, na, ma, exhale, sa, Ta, na, ma, hold, sa, ta, na, ma. Keep going on your own, silently reciting that. Keep going. Chest is out, chin is in, eyes are closed, thumbs are pulled backwards. Keep going and just repeat that pattern in your mind. Use that as the temple, use that as your pace. And just continue this breath pattern.
Keep your chest high, your chin drawn back in, your eyes closed. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, pull your thumbs backwards. Sit tall. Breathing in Satanama, holding Satanama, exhaling Satanama, holding out Satanama. Last minute. Everybody taking a deep breath. Hold. Exhale. And you can continue that as long as you like to. Just it's a nice feeling about that breath pattern. If you get really good at this, and you really want to start to pressurize the nerves that are associated with the heart, what you can do is you can extend this breath pattern as follows. From four, 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 go to six, 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 six. Meaning, breathing in for six. Oh, actually, that math's not gonna work. It has to be eight. <clears throat> because you're following the mantra Satanama. So scratch that. You're gonna to have to go to eight. Breathe in for Satanama two rounds. Hold the breath for two rounds of Satanama. Exhale the breath for Satanama. Hold the breath out for Satanama. So breathe in for Satanama, so a count of eight. Hold for a count of eight. Exhale for a count of eight. Hold out for a count of eight. The next jumping off point you can do to that would be 12. Again, staying with the math. So you'll do three rounds of Satanama on each of those. And if you get really, really good at it, you want to take this meditation to the full extent, you'll do it for four counts each, meaning 16 counts. So you do four sets of satanama. So satanama four times on the inhale, on the hold, on the exhale, and on the hold out. Pressurizes the chest, the heart. There's a lot that's going on with that. 
it's somewhat difficult to do so take your time getting to the 16 if that's what you want to do you want to take this all the way up there it, it takes some time don't let it be uncomfortable it should still be somewhat relaxing so even out the breath get good at the four get good at the four 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 and then get good at the eight 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 then get good at the 12 12 12 and then take it to the 16. mercy compassion something we can all share it doesn't cost anything i hope you practice this meditation even in that short amount of time i can already feel very calm so please practice get good at it use your compassion and share it with the world Sign up.